Are you ready to do the old German jerk? <laughs> What's up, jammers? Welcome back. An exciting week. Jason's dying of the flu. We're putting the truck on the trailer, going to the frame shop. Stay tuned. What's up, jammers? We're at Brian's Paint and Body, unloading the silver bullet. Yeah, we made an appointment to have our frame straightened uh, literally a month ago, which is, we didn't think that was gonna be a thing. But no. here we are, we got the truck loaded. We're gonna unload it real quick, and we're gonna leave it here. We're gonna come back tomorrow. So, but it's gonna be, uh, I think it's gonna be exciting and cool, and then we're gonna put this thing back together. And then we're gonna uh, sell Clint's it. Clint's gonna come. Later Clint, this week, right? Our buddy Clint at Georgia Weld. Georgia Weld, he's gonna come and weld up yep. our uh, frame rails. Yep. And we're excited. What's up, jammers? Welcome back. As you guys know, we loaded up. We went to Brian's Auto Body and Paint, and we're back with the truck. That's kind of a weird twist of events, don't you think? It was weird. Because our Everything frame's still, still bent. So what we did is, based on our conversation with John and the guys over there, based on what they say, since we are already going to replace our front frame rail bumper ends, that to go ahead, cut those out, cut out the lower core support, replace all that, and if there's any pull needed, it's gonna be on this front apron up here, which will be minuscule at best. Minuscule. Minuscule, that's my new word. How are we gonna get that job done, Ryan? Ratchet strap, jammer hammer, and a tree. Well, that ought to be interesting. Stay tuned. <laughs> Yo, what's up, YouTubers? I pity a fool that fools around when my Mr. Tree truck. No, listen, here's what we're gonna do. This is a Mr. T startup kit right here. Saying? It's a Mr. T startup kit? Yeah, it's a, the poor man's like Mr. T startup kit. It's the non-gold version? Yeah, exactly. No, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna do a little bit of what we call huckabuck. I've we're heard gonna, this in past episodes. We're gonna take this here guy, my little snatch strap, and we're gonna tie it off to Mr. Tree, and then we're gonna straighten our apron with it. What so, do you guys think of that? <laughs> that sounds exciting. Why are we doing that, Ryan? Uh, cause the body shop told us to. <laughs> That's a good reason. Mm -hmm. Awesome, we'll strap it up, let's go. Let's do it. What's up, jammers? Welcome back! <laughs> who, Will I get rushed to the hospital? Yes? Maybe? Who, who would ever have thought that we'd be doing this? That's, I mean, I've wanted to do stuff like this. I know you have the whole entire time. We've got a strap around trees. And someone's about to be handicapped. 
<laughs> One is of that, us. Is that a premonition? Is that what that is? All right, here we go. You're gonna release it. We think we got it in the right spot. Dear Lord Jesus. Looks pretty good. I feel like there was a little tension on that, Ryan. Kind of like in our relationship sometimes there's a little tension. No, there's only tension when you get nervous. <laughs> I get nervous. <laughs> I get quiet. You too, right? <laughs> So here, here's kind of what's happening, everybody. Uh, these pieces right here, these angled uh, bent Aprons. pieces are called the apron. Yeah. And uh, they kind of come down here and on the bottom here, they attach to a cro kind of a cross piece called the lower uh, core support, which holds the radiator, the bottom of it. This black piece across here is called the upper core support. All right, so you can see how it's all attached on this side and looking pretty good. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to get our apron to uh, to line up against the back of our upper core support. And there's a big dimple right there where Ryan's got his finger. So we're gonna try to punch that dimple out a little bit to kinda, cause we think it's generally, it's close to straight. Closer. And uh, it needs to come, uh, we probably have to do a pull to the driver's side, but I'd say we're, like we're in the ballpark, right Ryan? Would yeah, you say? I think so. Or are you just saying that, Ryan? No. Right there, it's definitely pushing it out. It's so close. There, oh, it just slid. Come on. Oh, I just saw it kind of pooch out a little bit. Right there, right? Yeah, to the left on the uh, passenger side. Did not feel good. Oh, sudden pains. <laughs> so Ryan, how many times have you been hurt in the last ten minutes? Oh yeah, a few. <laughs> what's on your head? Oh. And what's down on your foot? Are you all right, bud? <sighs> Here comes the sympathy. Laughter came first. That's probably not the right order in which that's supposed to happen. Right, right on the, on your right old, on the sweet spot on the, the old on the cuticles. Oh, it's throbbing. <laughs> Doesn't seem like it's quite accomplishing what we need to do. We did get a pound of down some. I think it's straighter than it was. Yeah, it's definitely closer. Our issue is down here, trying to pull close up. this gap, right? Yeah, this gap. We can't. We don't want to have. We don't want to pull tension on this upper core support because it's all aluminum and over time it'll create a crack up here. So it's gotta really fit better. It's not far off, but it is off. So we have two, a couple options. What was your option, right? My option is, is we put the snatch trap on it. We tie it around the bottom. You put it in reverse and just jerk it. Slam it real quick. See what happens. So there's one option. We call it the jerk method. Jerk method. Are you ready to do the old German jerk? <laughs> Alright, here we go, right? Do it again. Oh yeah, it's coming, dude. Yeah. Alright, let it off and we'll we'll take it. We'll put the piece up and see where we're at. What's up jammers? We did the grab hold jerk method to the apron. Let's see if our holes lined up. What? 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 Wait, maybe it's just one side. Nope. 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 Well, there you go, folks. The old grab hold jerk method always comes through. I'm Hank Marvin. I'm starving. So Ryan, why do we do that? Because <laughs> it's Ryan. <laughs> Is that the reason? 
No, because we need access to that bolt right there because yeah. it's just spinning in the bracket. So we cut it so that we can get a wrench right in there and get a hold of it. Little bolt here is being difficult. stubborn. Yeah, it's being a little difficult. Well, Nothing. A sawzall and some hammers can't fix. Yeah, well we cut the end of the yep. bolt off because we couldn't even get a, we didn't have a big enough wrench, but Ryan happened to have this handy duty adjustable box in, which is kinda cool. Yeah, it's, it's a really neat little tool. And then you just adjust it on and let's see if it'll work. Yeah. Gonna be loud. Yeah, loud noise. Oh boy, came right off. Well, she wrote, folks. Good thing we got a new bolt, because that one looks... Uh, well, especially It looks now. bad, plus we cut it off. All right, so what we've done now is we've removed the front body mount. There's two on the front, one on either side. We've already we moved this bolt, we're gonna move that one. And then we're gonna have to drill these um, spot wells out, and then this whole piece on both sides will actually drop out. But we gotta cut this piece out here, where it's melted to the frame, so... We figured we'd get the bolts out so it's not all mounted and start from there. Did you get it, Ryan? I probably didn't, but I left enough just for you to come and finish it. <laughs> this is the last one. <laughs> I have a question though, Ryan. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, Jason. How do you maintain that posture? <laughs> Let me tell you, years and years of abusive eating. Is that what it is? Yeah. It's all those vegetables. No. <laughs> no. But I don't know how your body stays. It's not a, like a 90 degree angle, it's like 110. What can I say? It's slightly obtuse. I'm an amazing human being. All right, Mr. Ryan. Hey, Jason, what's going on? We made a little bit of progress here. Uh, we progress. got the... Um, Mount bolts out. Yep. They're so uh, let me come around this other side. What's the plan next? All right. So this piece here is what's called the front bumper, front right. end fr bumper mount. And so this whole section is actually sleeved into the main frame back here. Yeah. And so it actually overlaps, right? I think you can put yeah. your. I can feel it right it's behind three here. Three quarters of an inch of an overlap into the sleeve. So we're gonna cut on the front edge of that weld, all the way around. This piece will fall down. And then we're gonna grind the inside edge from inside to grind the weld so that that little piece that's sleeved in pops out and then we'll pop it out and then we'll slide the new, well then we'll get to the other side. So let's get after it. That would have hit my toolbox. I literally thrown it and then grabbed it as I was cleaning it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I just job. ripped it off with my bare hands, folks. Well, you're an animal. I'm a jammer. That's what I am. So. All right, so I've been working on this side here, trying to grind the inside part out. And I think if I'm right, theoretically, if you can see it, there is a little line there it is see it that tells me I'm down through the weld and I'm looking at the two pieces of metal so the idea is to grind all the way around it so I can see that line and then I should be able to pop the inside out and I haven't damaged the outside part of the frame so no pressure at all
couple of old fogies here. Uh, like, I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, <laughs> age is caught up to us. Too. I am in pain. Yeah. Age. Like we just spent like three hours grinding and drilling, and uh, I hurt. Age you, is a fickle mistress. Thank you for it, not yeah. only being me, but we're commiserating I mean, together. You are like 18 years older than me. So. 18? I can't. How old are you? I can't do math. <laughs> <laughs> Man, call me now for the free psychic reading. <laughs> Miss Cleo knows your future. <laughs> you don't remember her? No, I don't remember. Oh, I love me some Miss Cleo, bro. Was that on late night television? I hear a big truck. Was that it? Yeah, that's my boy Clint. All right, hey Ryan, what are we getting ready to do? What's happening? Well, you know, Clint. Oh, wait, 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 hold a second. By the way, you left the truck on, but go ahead. Clint from Well GA is here, so you know some sparks are gonna fly. I know, we're excited, here right? Here he comes. Pull cool. up now on the beast. Get so this, let's let's get, get these frame rails welded in, get this truck back together. Nice. What's up, jammers? Hey, guys. Got a little suntan. We did. From all that welding, it was incredible. Awesome. It was Clint awesome. came and helped us out this week. Uh, you can find him on our Instagram in the description below. Wellga.com. It's awesome. Four days worth of video. Yeah, I think the video starts with us loading the truck and going to the frame shop. And then we end up coming back here. <laughs> that was a wonderful experience. And uh, yanking it on a tree, right? Yeah, yeah. basically <laughs> we did the old grab hold jerk method. <clears throat> grab hold, we did. We we definitely pulled it. <laughs> but we got it back in place, which was pretty incredible, which said a lot about how this resilient truck, these are. Well, and this truck's not really that damaged. Exactly. And then we uh, cut these frame rails out. Got the new lower core support back in, so everything's ready for us to put it back together on Saturday. That we are really looking forward to. Yep. This looks incredible. This looks so incredible. I'm really loving this a lot, Ryan. And you can call us at 1 800 free truck. That's right, 1 800 free truck. Or you can call us at 1 800 buy this truck. It might be That's that it. one too. That's so. it. But cool. Well, thanks for sticking with us. It's been a really fun episode. Remember to subscribe. Please like. Um, we're finding out a bunch of people are watching. And you uh, haven't subscribed yet. So please but subscribe. On a high note, we do have some increase in subscribers. We are getting some subscribers. And our first video is about to hit 1,000 views, which is pretty awesome. That's incredible, too. Yeah. That's my new word. Incredible. It's amazing. But most of all... We got new merch. Jammer merch. All the stuff is on jmrrebuilders.com. You guys need to go there. 
pick you up a t-shirt. We've tried to make them as cheap as possible. They're awesome and amazing too. And we'll see you next time. Jammer Nation!